you can try Azure for free for 12 months. Really, learn about it in this episode of Azure Tips and Tricks. If you are new to Azure or if you want to run an experiment on Azure, you can use it for free for 12 months. You can do that by going to this page at this URL. So what do you get for free? You can use a lot of services in Azure for free for 12 months. On top of that, you get $200 to spend in the first 30 days. You can spend this on services that aren't included in the free list or if you use more than the free service limits permit. And there are lots of Azure services that you can always use for free because they have a free tier. Included in the free services are 12 cognitive services. These are services that provide AI as a service. They come with pre-trained machine learning algorithms and are packaged as APIs that you can call. For instance, to detect faces in images or translate speech in real time. These are the free services. You can, for instance, use a Linux VM for free for 750 hours. You can use these 750 hours within your 12-month window. This goes for all the free services. They all have usage quotas. Like you can use 5,000 transactions of the computer vision service, which is a lot. And here are the rest of the cognitive services. You can use all of these for free. Also, these services have free usage tiers, so you can always use them for free. Isn't that awesome? There are a lot of them that you can use for free. This is great for trying things out and for running small projects in Azure. All right, let's sign up. I've already signed in with my Microsoft account, but you also have to do that or create a new Microsoft or GitHub account. I need to go through some steps to sign up. First, I need to verify by phone and I'll put in my verification code. Okay, now I need to fill in my credit card details. Don't worry, you won't be charged. Okay, and fill in the rest of my information and next. Finally, I need to agree to the terms and sign up. That's it, my free Azure subscription will now be created. And there we go. This is the Azure portal. And this is my Azure subscription. Let's take a look. Here I can see my costs and usage. So here I can see that I have 170 euros, which is roughly $200 to spend. And here is the usage of my free services. Once I start using services, it will be reflected here in percentages. For a virtual machine, for instance, I can use 700 units of one hour of the B1S Compute tier for a Windows VM. If I go over that usage, I will be charged to my free 170 euros in the first month. When that credit is spent or when the month is up, my usage will be blocked. So you won't automatically be charged. You need to manually upgrade your account if you want to spend money. Let's create a cognitive services just to see what it looks like. Go here and search for Cognitive Service. There it is. Create. OK, now to fill this in. Let's pick a location like this and a pricing tier. S0, OK. And now I'll create a new resource group to use. OK, and check this box. And that's it. Let's create it. And I'll skip to when it is done. And here it is. This is the Cognitive Service. You can use this to call any of the Cognitive Service APIs, like the Face API or the Computer Vision API. From here, you can follow a tutorial to get started. All right, let me show you something else, a web app. This has a free tier that we can use. Here it is. Let me pick my resource group and then I can show you the pricing tiers. Here they are. And when I click here, you can see the free pricing tier. You can always use this forever. The catch is that it is less powerful than paid pricing tiers and that it has less capabilities. But you can use it to try things out for free. And see here, the basic B1 tier for Linux web apps is also free for the first 30 days. You can try Azure for free. Really. Go and try it out.